Hi, it's Barry. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have in-depth video focusing on some of the items in the February cloth and paper subscription box. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is that if you haven't signed up yet, currently they are not accepting subscriptions. Similar to last month, it looked like they had sold out. So they are reassessing and if they do have room for additional subscription, they will open it back up on February 2nd. So mark that date in your calendar if you haven't signed up yet and you're interested. But let me show you some of these things and I'm gonna also show you some alternative uses. So let's get started. So I know you've all seen some of these things if you're on Instagram or if you're on the videos that Ashley does on Thursdays during happy hour. The bookmark has been pretty popular and I was glad to see it and I was really glad that it was not too thick because a thick bookmark always bothers me because it makes the pages bunch up a little bit. So this one's very thin and it's nice that it's black on the back. I have four sneaks from the Penspiration box and I'm going to run through those first. So as usual, the pens come in the CP envelope and we've got a pale green highlighter. And with the Penspiration, we've got the dual sticky notes in the mini oblong, and they're in the color ash. And as before in January, one of them is transparent and one of them is a matte transparent. So let me show you on this color, you can see very pale green, but on white, it's a much bolder green than you could see on those sticky notes. So here we have a Keiko pen and these Keiko pens have been around for a long time. And I wanna just talk about them a little bit. Here are some of the ones that I have and I've had lots over the years. They're frequently called Keiko Green or Keiko Pure. And it's this specific type of pen, which it clearly looks the same as the older ones, but it's not exactly the same in that the material on the body of it feels a little smoother than here where it was more of a matte velvety feel. Now on the older ones, sometimes you had a pen that was in a color and it wrote in that same color and sometimes it had black ink. They came two different ways. And so for example, like here's one that I had and that was orange but clearly that's black ink. Whereas my blue one actually wrote in blue and the same with this one, a dark red. The black obviously wrote in black. This one, which I got from cloth and paper a while ago, it's like a very, very pale gray and, and it is a pale gray, but it's one that I really liked. Uh, sometimes if you want to draw a line that's like a guide and you don't want it to be a bold line, this works really well. So this Keiko pen is a 0.5 gel pen and it has black ink. And there you go. And these are really comfortable to write with, but not only are they comfortable to write with, they're very thin. And that is very helpful because some planners have the pen loop that's very tight and these seem to always work really well plus they come in a lot of different colors so you can match things up and switch things up very easily the next one is a uniball zento in a 0.7 that's a challenge for this girl i think you know that i like my 0.38 and occasionally the 0.5 and you can see it's clearly darker and thicker than the 0.5s that you see here. I think this would be very useful even for me for some titles. So I'm excited to have it. So you've probably also seen the sneaks with the black bag. I cannot wait to get that. For me, that will be everything. And I certainly hope there's an extra in the subscriber exclusives in February because I know I need another one in black. <laughs> And they're coming in all different colors this year and they have different embroidery on them each time. And it's a wonderful part of the subscription box and a great addition this year. You've probably seen something recently that was pretty exciting. 
that Ashley showed us uh, both on Instagram and on YouTube that there's a new stencil and it's in a stainless and it looks really great and very useful also as a bookmark. I personally am a stencil collector, you know, from my days of Hobonichi and this just got me very excited and I think I need to use my stencils more. So as Ashley said, she's inserting some color and she's not kidding. But I love the way this is packaged. It's like a little book and you could keep it this way because it's perfect to take on the go and have two different colors. We have concrete and we have pimento. Just a little hack in case you didn't know this. When you're taking this style of sticky note off, don't pull up here. Go to the right. And the reason is then when you stick it down, it will stay down much better. A sneaky little thing I need to show you is if you look at the edge, see how they have this in here so that you can pull it out. It's just those little photo edges and those will also be in our box. Those are very cool. And we of course get the monthly reflection. I adore this one. It's perfect. So it's a mirrored card. You have to remember to take the protective sheet off of it. It's very reflective, looks gorgeous in the planner for sure. So what I wanna talk about next is the whole theme of the February box, which is the Ivy Lee method. And I'm gonna show you the inserts and, and talk about that. And I'm showing this to you in a CP Petite size. This is my heirloom folio in Pedrillo, which is black. And this, it, surprisingly this year, is my main planner for schedule and my master to-do lists. It was shocking even to me to make this change and I did a video about this and I'll link that here uh, in case you missed it. So I've got my schedule, my master to-do list and some other things in this planner. And right now I'm in my notes section. And what you can see here is that this is divided into six areas. And the idea is that you're picking six things for the day that you're gonna focus on. You can go on YouTube and Instagram and find good information about this and instructions about this from cloth and paper and I encourage you to do that. I got excited when I saw this because I thought of another use of this. So I'll be getting a bunch of these inserts. Hopefully they go in the shop, if not during subscriber exclusive, and I'll be getting more in my half letter box too. So here's why I'm excited. With six boxes, I decided that this would be perfect to have for every one of my planners, what's actually in that planner and how I have it organized. I've always wanted to have a good way of looking at that and keeping organized about it. And the nice thing with this being an insert is that if I change things up, which I might do during the year, I would just take a new insert. So all I did was I put the name of each divider. So I put the name of what the planner is because I use multiple planners. Also the size and which planner it's in. It's, it's in my small heirloom in Pedrillo, which is black. And then what I have in each area. So for example, in my weekly, I've got horizontal weeklies and I keep two months at a time. And then I archive and bring new months in. And I do the same thing with my monthlies, only I don't use my monthlies for schedule, I personally use them to track something. Then I have other things like here are the master lists that I have. I use the task planner inserts to have a page for each of these items so that I can list my master to do's. And these are things that I might do this week or I might do in three months, but it's a place to put them instead of a sticky note. Then once I was doing this, I got this other idea which is why not do my whole lineup? And right now there are eight major planners that I'm using this year. So what I did was I just wrote those down. I had to go to the back of the page to get all eight. And then what I did was the name of the planner, what planner it was in, and what information I had in that planner. This is great because then I can see where am I putting things, what are my sections, all in one place 
for all of my planners. I loved it. I loved using this insert. I think I'll be using the new stencil when I'm working on these sheets. I was playing with that in terms of adding some lines, for example. So there you have it. I hope you're as excited as I am to receive the February box. And remember, if you haven't signed up for it yet, spots may open up on February 2nd, but if they do, it'll be very limited. So pay attention to email and Instagram, and I'll have information on that as I receive it also. I extended my late December, January giveaway till the end of January. All you need to do is like the video, leave a comment. I'd love to know which of these things excites you the most and be sure you're subscribed to the email list. Some of my giveaways only take place in the email list. If you haven't subscribed, there's always a link below and always on Instagram. Just be sure when you get the confirmation email back that you click the link there. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time around. Music